I'm Gianni Bianco, and I'm going to talk with you about the issues of future water supply and population growth, as well as provide you with solutions. So to begin, water scarcity directly correlates with poverty, and with the annual population growth rising, future water resources are looking quite questionable. Already, the global population is expanding more than 1 billion people annually, and already a quarter of the world's population live in water-stressed regions. Only 1% of the Earth's water is safe to drink, and only 20% of the Earth's population has access to running water. Now, clean water is vital for food, health, and growth, and already there are many issues with today's current drinking water. Unfortunately, for starters, most water is unsafe to drink. In more rural regions of the world, water contains harmful contaminants and parasites that, if consumed, can lead to fatal diseases diarrhea being one of them. Diarrhea is already a large killer of young children under 15. Although we live in a world filled with it, unfortunately, most of the water in the world is in either in ice caps, underground, inaccessible, or has a high saline content, making it undrinkable. And with the annual population growth rising, water has become the highest demanded commodity Clean water has become scarce and has given rise to socioeconomic problems around the world. And unfortunately for a growing population, water is the primary ingredient for agricultural success. Product manufacturing relies on water, and with most humans utilizing water for agriculture, improper irrigation can lead to water wastage. However, there are potential solutions to support future generations. As mentioned before, agriculture plays a vital role in supporting a larger populace. Controlled drip irrigation can not only conserve water, but it also has the potential to double crop cultivation, giving impoverished regions around the world more crops and water conservation. Another promising solution to water scarcity is desalination plants. Now, these plants utilize multiple stages of disinfecting, as well as the use of reverse osmosis to take the salinity content from salt water and turn it into fresh water. These have been in use for years and are beginning to spread globally. The only issue with these city sites is the expenses from energy consumption each stage requires. There are also local methods of water conservation. Uh, recycling water is being used in places such as Sydney, Australia. Already, urban water recycling has been introduced to the suburbs, supplying constant water use from recycled gray water. The gray water is treated, then returned to the community. Now, the global population is expanding annually and stable clean water resources are becoming a necessity. Water is essential for life and much of the Earth's water is undrinkable. With these solutions and growing technology, future water supplies may be able to support the growing population.